Topsy and Tim meet the firefighters. Are you listening? And let's begin the story. One morning when Topsy and Tim were on their way to school, they heard a fire engine coming. It raced past them, sirens sounding and blue lights flashing. All the other traffic got out of the way. Everyone knew that the firefighters were hurrying to put out a fire. Kerry's dad is a firefighter, said Topsy. I expect he is on that fire engine. But Kerry's dad was not on the fire engine. It was his morning off, and he was taking Kerry to school. Topsy and Tim told him about the fire engine they had just seen. They're called fire appliances, not fire engines, said Kerry. There's an open day at my fire station on Saturday, said Kerry's dad. Would you like to come and see all of our fire appliances? Yes, please, said Topsy and Tim. On Saturday, Topsy and Tim and Mummy set out for Belford Fire Station. There were lots of children at the fire station. Firefighters in yellow helmets were looking after them. Topsy and Tim soon found Kerry and her dad. Kerry was waiting to go up on a long turntable ladder. Topsy and Tim wanted to go up too. A firefighter helped them all into a cage on the end of the ladder. He gave them safety helmets to wear. A firefighter at the back of the appliance pulled the lever and the ladder started to go up. It grew longer and longer and went higher and higher until the people on the ground looked as small as toys. We hose water down on the buildings from up here, said the firefighter. And you rescue people from high windows and roofs, said Kerry. When they came down from the ladder, Mummy brought them each a little fire helmet. I'm going to be a firefighter when I grow up, said Kerry. Can girls be firefighters? asked Topsy. I don't think so, said Tim. Yes, they can, said the lady who was selling the, hel the helmets. I'm a firefighter, just like Kerry's dad. Women can be firefighters, but they have to be as strong and as brave as men. To show how strong she was, she gave Tim a fireman's lift on her shoulder. Kerry's dad took them to see how the fire station worked. When there is a fire and someone phones 999, he said, we get the message on a printer. A loudspeaker tells us where to go and which appliances to take with us. Alarm bells ring, ding a ling a ling a ling a ling, and the firefighters run to the appliances. If they are upstairs, they slide down a pole. It's quicker than running down the stairs. Kerry's dad lifted the children into the cab of a big fire appliance. They pretended to drive to a fire. Near the big fire appliance was a much smaller one. Is that a baby fire engine? asked Tim. It's a van full of rescue equipment said Kerry's dad. We take it to accidents and rescue people from crashed cars and trucks. Kerry's dad showed them the tall tower where the firefighters practiced with their ladders and their hoses. 
When we have finished, we hang the hose in the tower to dry, he told them. Next to the tower was a room that had been on fire. It made their noses tickle. We make smoky fires in there, said Kerry's dad. Then we practice putting them out and rescuing people. We have to wear masks and carry tanks of air on our backs, or we would choke. Kerry took Topsy and Tim into a showroom full of fire dangers. It looked like an ordinary living room. See if you can spot where fires could start, said Kerry. Tim spotted an iron that had been left face down. Uh-oh, that could start a fire, Tim said. Topsy spotted a box of matches on the floor. A naughty little child could start a fire with those, she said. And that fire should be behind a fire guard, said Mummy. Mummy spotted more fire dangers near the kitchen. Are smoke detectors any use? she asked Kerry's dad. I think I ought to get some. Kerry's dad showed them a smoke detector and made it work. It made a loud bleep, 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 bleep noise. If there was a fire in your home one night, the smoke detectors would wake you up, he said. We've got smoke detectors at home, Kerry told Topsy. It was time to go home. But before they went, Kerry's dad gave them one last treat. It was a ride round the fire station yard on a children's fire appliance. The clever firefighters had made it specially for their open day. And it went, nee na nee na nee na just like a real fire engine. The end.